Vice Chair Diaz. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, gentlemen, for wanting to improve our school district as much as every single person on this side of the dais has. Um, I know that Senator Mo Dennis and a lot of my colleagues got involved in the political process because they wanted a better outcome for their kids in their districts. And that's why we are here making sure that we can do and we show that we can do better by them. One thing that keeps coming to mind is I think that the scope of the work that you're putting together is, is too broad. I think it needs to be focused and, and, and finite. Um, I keep replaying the scenarios of no child left behind in my head. Um, when I was in the trenches, we gave it a, a whirl and said, schools need to be more like businesses. They need to show that they are meet, meeting the targets. We need to have all of our kids performing at the same percentage. This needs to happen now. The thing was, the metrics helped us see where we were hit, missing the mark, but we never actually did anything to improve the quality and the practices of our teaching in the trenches. So we were constantly scrutinizing our schools, saying shame on you, your Latino ELL subgroup fails, you're failing your African American subgroup, look at these numbers, they're atrocious. But we never ever got to the root of the problem. And what I'm seeing here is there's a lot of dabbling in many different areas. And I think your expertise would be greatly used if we look at strictly central office operations and how in this new system we can fine tune them, improve them, make them better. But I really don't think we need to go any way, anywhere beneath the central services at this point. I think we let, if we truly are talking about reorg and giving the power back to those administrators and giving that power back to the teachers and giving that power back to the parents to ensure that we have schools that are building a sense of community, I think let's empower them, let's embolden them, and let's give them that support that they need to make that vision come true. But in my head, as I'm reading the changes that you seek, I think it would behoove everyone if we just focused on central services because that's going to be a huge shift. So currently, the structure is everything top down, but now we're inverting it and everything's gonna be bottom up. So how is the district going to do that huge paradigm shift and I think that the best way to use your experience, your background, um, would be in that area. And then, after we figured out the logistics with maintenance and, and all those other numerous things in terms of purchasing, and there's so many, there's so many. How do you provide professional development? How do you ensure that everything is ready, on call, in the queue for when a school requests it? I think that's a big enough project. I don't think we need to necessarily go, because I know that the school district has a pretty darn good communications team. They're everywhere, they're spreading the word. Um, we have a faces department that um, engages families. And so I'm thinking if we can be intentional and purposeful and strictly keep the scope of this work to central services, it will do I think light years and wonders for how it's going to have this effect, effect which everyone is panicking about at the school level. Um, so um, just like my colleague, Senator Dennis, we would have appreciated um, kind of receiving the information before yesterday, kind of, sort of, and then seeing it all before us um, because we could have helped um, fine tune and kind of give you perspectives of some of us who have been in the trenches teaching, um, have had the state representatives walk into our buildings, but I think that the most effective use of your time would be at the central offices and I, I hope that you guys could um, 
really think about that because I think that there's a huge shift that's going to be happening now. One of the first things that Tom and his team are going to do is come in and, and evaluate exactly where we are on all these things. It may well be that you're right. Um, we need to, we, we haven't been in there yet. We've got some pretty good ideas about things we think that should happen, but actually come in and do an assessment, develop a strategic, strategic plan around what we want to do. We'll be able to have a better, um, after 30 days, we'll have a better idea of exactly what we, what we think we can accomplish. Okay, so then another question is, um, what are the metrics to measure the efficiency of the work? Um, because I kind of see that we kind of lay out there what we want to do, but I, you know, teachers' eval uh, effectiveness is measured through their evaluation tool, so do the administrators have an evaluation process. What is the evaluation process that's before us here to make sure that this investment is gonna be a good investment, one, and two, because I think that if you start with the end in mind and you know what you're shooting for, I, I'm preaching to the choir because you guys are business folks and I'm just a teacher, but um, I think we need to know what are we trying to accomplish from the outset and then how do we measure the effectiveness so that when we come back and say maybe we wanna continue this, this is why we want to continue this, because we showed these that we complied or we reached our goal or whatever the, the evaluation tool will be. So what do you envision that being? Envision that being a process. Uh, talking with the school leaders, talking with senior leadership at the district, you're exactly right. What is it that we're trying to accomplish here? What is it that we're trying to, to develop? But right now, there's a lot of different metrics, but nobody knows exactly what they are. Maybe we can provide some structure around that. Uh, we would want to talk with these folks and together develop something that actually is important in terms of de determining what success really means. Um, I think that's a, a process that I've, I've seen kind of lacking at times. Nobody defines what it is. How, how do you define success at the end of the day? What are the metrics that we should put in place? Having that discussion, I think, will be very important for AB 394 to be uh, to be successful. Sitting here today, I don't know what they are. Um, Tom and his team, and, and I'll be working closely with them. Um, I, that's one of the first things we need to look at: is what is it that we're measuring, and is, are we following the right things for the outcomes that we want to see? And I guess my last point would be, Mr. Chair, that as we see the progress that's being made toward identifying those schools that are on the list for achievement school districts, they have defined exactly what that process is, what they're looking for, what the categories are. And one of the criticism that I've gotten back about the scope of our work on the reorg is that we haven't been very clear as far as what we're looking to accomplish, what the end game is going to be about, what are those finite bullets that we will know we did our job on this committee because we held these meetings, but we, it's still very fuzzy in a lot of people's minds. They don't understand what this reorg means and it's very confusing. But I think that if we already have notions and ideas and concepts and know what's good for kids, then we should already have a frame of reference by which we, we keep ourselves in check. I'm just, I agree. The, the, so I think that we will be able to help structure those kinds of things. You're, you're thinking like a business person. I'm, that, that's good. Uh, and I, I lived with an educator, so I, I had the benefit of understanding uh, the way that educators think. But uh, what I have found is that they do think differently about things. When you get them together, good things happen because they look at things from a different perspective. This. For this effort to be successful, it's, it's got to be very collaborative. Uh, this is not, our proposal is not intended at all to come in and say, this is, this is what it is, we're, uh, we're running the place now. It, it, that's, that won't work. We have to work collaborat uh, collaboratively to, uh, to get an outcome. We saw that happen at the Education Council. We know that business people and educators can work together. Uh, that's, that's the goal here.